If you've already watched the end of the fifth season of Miraculous Ladybug, you must remember that scene where a mysterious glow appears behind Lila after the girl stole the butterfly Miraculous. Today, you'll finally find out what that blue glow is and what happened to Lila after it appeared. Let's go to the video. One thing we have to wonder is if this glow has anything to do with the fact that Lila has the butterfly Miraculous. Could it be the jewel that caused the light to appear? It's a complicated question, but the answer might be in the Paris special. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it's revealed in this season that Gabriel Agresti put a similar lock on the Butterfly Miraculous so that no one else could use it. After all, Adrian's father studied these jewels for several years and may know things that neither Master Fu nor Ladybug have discovered yet. Perhaps this glow is some magic created to separate Lila from the Miraculous. If she wants to become the Chrysalis and give headaches to the heroes, she'll first have to find a way to bypass the security. Maybe the first episode of the new season will focus on her trying to do that, and only later will the series show the villain's battle against the heroes. This is a good theory. I think it would be cool for the character to have this challenge to use her powers. Of course, there are still many other possibilities. But before I continue, I want to ask you to watch the entire video because at the end, I'll reveal a super secret about Lila that I bet you didn't know. Okay, continuing. It may be that the blue glow wasn't created by a magical jewel but by a person. I'm shocked. It could be, let's say, the Supreme from the Paris special invading that universe. Think about it. After Ladybug and Cat Noir convinced their evil versions to switch to the side of light in the Paris special, the leader of the villains must have been beyond irritated and vowed revenge against the heroes of the normal world. To me, that makes a lot of sense. After all, I would do the same if I were a villain. And since the Supreme probably still has the rooster and goat miraculous, it wouldn't be difficult for him to obtain the power to travel between universes or create a technological portal to transport him and his villains to the normal world. He may have decided to appear behind Lila to propose an alliance to her since he would need someone familiar with that world and its heroes. Perhaps he even planned to betray Lila at some point because that's what villains do, and then there would be a fight between them. Everyone knows that villain fights are amazing. I think the Supreme story is a good guess because after what happened in the Paris special, at some point, this villain will have to come back to settle scores. It's not possible that he will only be mentioned by other characters and never show up for real. He will appear, mark my words. If not now in the sixth season, it will be in another one. Write down what I'm saying. Oh, by the way, take the opportunity to comment if you believe in this theory and, if you don't, write your theory about what that glow is and what it did to Lila at the end of the fifth season. I'm very curious to hear your ideas. Now there's a theory that's already quite famous in the miraculous community, the Phantom Gabriel theory. Many people must have wondered how a petty man like Gabriel Agresti would have asked Gaimi to sacrifice his own life to bring his wife, Emily, back. The man's objective was clear, he wanted to be with his beloved again, so, it wouldn't make sense for him to want to die to revive her. I know some people out there say that the woman in the pool next to Natalie is actually Amelie, Felix's mother, not Emily, and that Gabriel's wish was to be with his wife in the afterlife. But I think the series writers wouldn't play such a trick on us. If that were Amelie, I think they would make it clear in the episode itself instead of letting everyone believe it's Adrian's mother. When the sixth season arrives, and everyone finds out it's not Emily, people are more likely to be angry than surprised because they were deceived. At least I would be upset. I want to see Emily, folks. Do you want to see her too? Then leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because that will tell Thomas that we want it to be Emily. Anyway, perhaps Gabriel actually sacrificed himself because that was the only way to bring his wife back. If you ask someone to come back to life, you have to give your own life in return, that was Gaimi's price, and there was no negotiating it. So, Gabriel died, Emily returned, and since then, the man could be planning a new plan in the afterlife to come back to the land of the living. Somehow, he would manage to return as a ghost, and possibly, he went after Lila because she was a trusted accomplice during the time he was the monarch, or at least he thought she was trustworthy. So, he could appear to the girl and propose a new alliance in exchange for advice on how to use the butterfly miraculous and information about the heroes, including Ladybug's identity. Lila would have to go after the cat and Ladybug miraculous to summon Gaimi again and wish for Gabriel to come back to life so they could be together with Emily. Yes, if you're paying attention, you might be thinking, but Lila won't die someone else would have to make the wish for her. Well, there are other ways. She could force someone else to make the wish and sacrifice themselves in her place. But I think it's more likely that Gabriel wouldn't mention this detail of the sacrifice and let Lila die for him to live. That would be a plan worthy of Gabriel A. Gresti. Or maybe there won't be any conversation between these two. Gabriel could just appear from within that blue glow and possess Lila's body. If he's a ghost, maybe he can do that. Then he could use the butterfly miraculous himself to try to get the ladybug and cat miraculous again. It would be easier than wasting time negotiating, 
don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't forget my promise. If you made it this far, I have an extra curiosity about Lila for you. Did you know that the name Lila may have been chosen for the character because its pronunciation is similar to Lai, which literally means a falsehood in English? Thinking about it, it seems obvious, but I was really shocked when I found out. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to keep receiving more videos like this. Also, comment your own theories here. Thank you very much, and see you later.